Welcome back. Uh, 15 minutes have passed, so right now the demo account should be ready. Let's try to log into my account page and check the status of it. So it would be leo.smith at gmail.com and my password would be streaming Walda. Okay, it seems the demo account has been created. As you notice here in my account page, you can see the server details and general information. For example, if you have any issue setting up the stream or uh, any type of server-side issues, you can contact us on the live chat because we do provide, we do offer a 24-7 live chat here. And you will need to provide us the account ID number. That would be pretty much the best information you just uh, need to know. Uh, so let's continue now. I see the FMS URL. I can see the stream address, username, and password. Now I want to start streaming. I have downloaded uh, Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder. This is uh, an Adobe uh, product. You can download from Adobe.com or just Google for that. You'll be able to see an Adobe.com link. So I'm going to start uh, setting up the encoder. As you notice here, I have selected audio and video. The FMS URL would be the one from my account page, but I'll have to specify slash live because it's using the live app, live application, so it needs slash live. I don't need to save the stream on my side because I can use GBR if I want to save it on the server side. So I'm going to unclick this one here. Now I want to do the settings uh, for for the stream to be uh, avail for this stream to be available on all devices, even for example, let's say on uh, iPhones. So I'm going to use H.264, the frame rate, I'm going to leave it 15, it's not important if it's not higher than um, 30. I'm going to leave it 15. The input size, I can leave this one, but the bit rate is pretty high. I'm going to just uh, change it to, let's say, 200. Okay, I have to change the settings here to make sure it's uh, baseline, level 3, and keyframe sequence C. Three seconds. Okay, the audio uh, settings are fine. For uh, to be available on Android and iPhones, I would uh, normally have to change the format to AAC, but I don't have AAC installed, so I'm gonna leave it MP3. Okay, uh, now we can connect and start streaming. So I'm gonna click on the connect button first. I'm gonna ask me for the username and password. The username would be this one. And the password should be streaming. Okay. Okay, I'm connected, so I'm gonna start stream. Okay, encoder started. So right now I should be live. To be able to view it, I'll have to create an embedded code. As you notice, there are some buttons in my account page that's gonna help you with this uh, account. We have main board, you see this page here, account information with account information is very important if you want to see exactly how many viewers you have for example I'm streaming so it's number one here used one and 10 is actually the simultaneous limit limit connection um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you pretty much all the buttons from here you have invoices if you this one is a demo house so I don't have to pay for it or billing details if you want to pay by credit card and of course, if I have a demo account, I can always upgrade it from here. As you notice, I can just select the plan, click on the upgrade, and proceed with, proceed with the steps. You do have some tutorials here, but anyway, right now what interests us very much is to see the stream I'm doing. So I'm going to select the embedded code button here, and I'm going to select the streaming type live, because I'm streaming live is not an on-demand, it's not a file uploaded to the server. I can change the width and height if I need to. Uh, auto start true or false and the skin of course as you notice can choose uh, from uh, a lot of skins there. The stream name as you notice in my account page is by default live stream same as in the encoder. The encoder comes with a uh, live stream uh, by default uh, the stream but this stream name can be changed to whatever you want for example let's say channel 1, channel 2 or whatever other name. So because I left live stream here I'm gonna make sure and um, I, in the embedded code section, I'm going to leave live stream. So let's just generate and see if we can see the stream. 
we should can we do the stream i'm streaming right now should take see if you can see the stream there you go that's my stream that's what i'm uh streaming right now um and right now see it has a audio and there you go that's my able to use it just copy and paste this code and you can see it has a audio to be able to use it check here you'll see that it will work on both mobiles to your web and pcs if you will check here you will well, see that this will work on both uh, mobile much all of it if you have any other question just uh, leave a comment on my uh, youtube page and i'll try to answer them all thank you for your time